Hey guys, what's up? Can I get somebody to give me a five for five real quick and we'll get this going? I want to make sure we got this going here real quick. Um, I need a five for five though before I can keep moving. Y'all got me? Hey Mark, good to see you bud. You guys got my audio? Okay, cool. All right, guys, this is going to be a fairly quick one. I'm just throwing this together because of what happened. Um, hey, we got a geomagnetic storm right here. We got you over here at NOAA Space Weather. Um, this is earlier than expected, okay? We got a coronal hole here also. This coronal hole is big. Um, this is good. The stuff from this is going to hit us in a couple days, about three, well, between two to three days. But we weren't expecting, we got hit with, um, we had a pretty decent size um, CME from a filament release. And we'll go take a look at that real quick, okay? Um, what happened there was uh, a big filament release, okay? You can see it right here. This is on the second. Um, and we'll go to the third, too. Those are the smaller ones, okay? This is the day before. I just want to put that out there, all right? Let's go the next day, the third. This was yesterday. There's the there's the bigger ones. You guys seeing all these eruptions, okay? They're now saying that we're going to go into solar maximum a year earlier than expected, which would be 2024. So we're progressing quicker. Um, and so I look for activity to increase. Um, and also, guys, Listen, I've been talking about Aurora for a long time, how it's just increasing. We're seeing stuff so far south now. We really shouldn't be seeing it down that far, okay, during these little little geomagnetic storms. Typically, when you see stuff in Florida, we should be talking G5, okay, and we're not anymore. We're talking G3, sometimes even littler. We've seen reports of Aurora in Florida. We're seeing all kinds of different color aurora, which, you know, we can go in and talk about that all we want later on. But as you guys can see, guys, that's a big eruption, okay? It's a halo, a full halo, which means it's coming right at us. Um, NASA had this thing hitting us right from the get-go, okay? But this thing wasn't, I think what we're, we're not getting hit with this one right now. We're getting hit with the ones from the previous day, okay? Um, let me show you. I already, I just showed it to you guys a second ago. Let's just back it up a day right there. Um, these, okay? Some of these are glancing blows, which is what we're getting right now. So if I take you guys over here, let's just, to um, the Discover data, check it out. Look what happened here. Okay, we're going along just all perfect, all nice and neat, and then bam. You know, negative six hits on the BZ. And that, that's the magnetic polarity that I talk about all the time. If it's in the negative, in negative six or more, that means the stuff comes in really, really easy. And it just, it draws it in. Um, and the corona hole is going to have an impact here in a couple days. But this isn't even the big eruption hitting, guys. Okay? Um, with us getting hit now, we're going to be getting hit probably again from another glancing blow before we get hit with the big one. At least that's what the forecasters are saying, okay? Um, and, you know, I don't think it looks bad, Ronald. Um, you know, I'm never going to tell you it's, you know, grid down unless I think it's going to be grid down. This isn't grid down, I don't think. Um, but what I do want to show you, this is significant, guys. It really truly is. So let me show you guys SDO, and we'll, I'll show you the filament release. This was on my video. Um, yesterday, a little short one that I did, a little update. And by the way, guys, this this video here was not planned at all. Um, I wasn't even planning on doing this till a little bit later. I got company over right now, actually, and I probably shouldn't be doing this now. But I just need to do it real quick to get it over with. What? Look right here. That filament released. Okay, so watch what happens. You guys see that? That's a lot of plasma moving, and it erupted out, okay? And that's what's going to be hitting us here in the next couple of days. 
Um, I look forward to hit tomorrow. I really do. And that's what that's kind of what the models are sh uh, showing also. So let me take you guys here and I'll show you the 94 Angstrom because you can really see this thing in the 94 um, do its thing. Where the heck did it? Where did the 94 go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, but as this loads real quick, I'll take you guys over here. This is the now cast. We can see the KP every 30 minutes here. Right? They call it the HP 30, but it's the same uh, measurement we're looking at. Okay? So we got about over a KP of 5, about 5.5. Looks like it's tailing off right now. But, my, you know, my experience will show us that we're kind of moving up and down like a roller coaster here. Okay? Um, so I do look forward to hit again. Um, and again... We're going to have geomagnetism now hanging around when we get hit again with the bigger one. Um, I do look for us to be G2, maybe even G3. And I'm even going to say this. I probably shouldn't, but we could see a G4 out of this. Um, I really, truly think we could. And, you know, couple all this with that big coronal hole. Guys, we got some plasma heading this way. It's heading this way in a, in a decent way. But here's the 94 angstrom. I want to show you this eruption again. It's up here. But check this out. It's pretty cool. See that? Look at that thing. I mean, that is uh, very photogenic, number one. Okay, number two, do you guys see the distance that thing traveled? From here to here. So it really gave us a good view of what's going on with this filament. So, you know, that is what it is. So let's just do it that way. And, uh, yeah. And we had other eruptions still happening. And, again, the big corona hole here in the middle, we're going to have to pay attention to. Um, here's the geoelectric field. I'm not going to waste your time on that one. Um, but I, what I will do here is I'll show you guys. They probably haven't updated this yet. They might have. Um, here's the updated NOAA forecast of these CMEs. Check this out. Okay, watch this big... You guys see the density here? They're they're forecasting 50 to 60 on density. That's a lot. And then watch what happens after it pass. You see this down here, how it hits after that? This is the coronal hole stream. So we're going to get hit, and then we're going to get the coronal hole stream right on its tail. So, you know, we could be seeing some massive auroras, we could be seeing up, we're going to see uptick in earthquakes. We had a big earthquake anyway. Um, it's just, guys, we're just going to have to pay attention, you know. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and say it, anything that it's not, because I don't think this is grid down or anything. But I do think we could see, you know, an uptick, big time uptick. If we get to G4, um, you know, yeah, we could see some electrical problems. Um, maybe not down, you know, low latitudes, but... You know, the higher latitudes towards the poles most definitely could see transformer issues. All the things we've always talked about. Um, but it still didn't grid down. It's just, you know, short of that. It would take a G5. The thing of it is, though, guys, the geomagnetic conditions of our planet now, our magnetic field is weakening. I'm not so sure it's going to take G5 to really give us big stuff anymore. That's where my confidence is lying. I'm telling you. Um, I'm seeing too much stuff pointing the other way. Um, you know, when we start seeing a roar down low latitude with hardly any, with a really small geomagnetic storm, I mean, come on. And then, you know, we talk about all the different colors of Aurora now and what that means. Aurora is a big thing. And I have to say this, guys, go over and check out uh, Suspicious Observer. Ben did a really good short video, but I think it's like a four-minute video on the Aurora and how important it is and how it's pointing to, hey, guys, our magnetic field is weakening. And it is. So I don't think it's going to take these bigger, humongous storms for us to start seeing issues. That's my point. Okay? That's the whole point. Now, what does that mean grid down? Absolutely not. It doesn't mean grid down until we get grid down. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just what it is. You know, you, 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 you know, there's people out there that's going to play on your guys' fear and tell you grid down every time something pops off the sun. I've shown you guys over and over and over and over and over and over again how many times we get hit and nothing like that ever happens, right? So it's only going to happen the one time. 
And I'm not going to be the one that's out here telling you guys it's going to happen every time. Because I'm not going to keep moving the goalposts. You're going to have a lot of people out there doing that. And I'm not doing it. So that's not what you're going to get here. I hope you guys appreciate that. And, you know, if I say, hey, I think this is grid down, I want you guys to take me serious. And that's why I don't, you know. That's why I don't come out here and say it every time. So, anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated on all this. You know, is this going to be anything bigger? I simply just don't know. Um, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. We'll all keep an eye on it, and, you know, we'll go from there. You know, I may pop back on later on. I just wanted to put this out real quick. Um, me and Trinity still trying to get our uh, <laughs> schedules aligned so we can do a live stream together. Um, I'm going to have her come on and, you know, share some of her stuff. And she's going to, you know, give her point of view and everything. And I know you guys, most of you guys already know Trinity. So, um, we'll, you know, we'll take it from there. But, um, yeah. So, if anything big happens or if we have anything, like, massively increase or change, I'll at least pop out here like I did for this. Okay? This doesn't take me very long. I, like, threw this together in, like, just a couple minutes. And I'm getting ready to head to my daughter's basketball game. She's, a uh, uh, Devilette is what they call them. Not a cheerleader, but they're a dance squad and everything through the school. It's color guard is what it is. And um, they do halftime shows and stuff. So that's where I'm heading. So I'm going to have to pop off here. I'm sorry I can't give you guys a longer show, but that's where I'm going to be tonight. My family is what's most important to me, and hopefully it is to you guys too. Um, but anyway, guys, that is what's going on. Um, so, yeah. God bless. Yahusha saves, and... Uh, yeah, you can drink this Kool-Aid.